What is going on, everybody? My name is Doovy300, and as always, uh, I first like to thank you guys for clicking on this video, and I hope you enjoy your stay. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video is sharing with you guys the achievements for Black Ops 2. But before I go on, let me just say that the trophy uh, value for each achievement was not released yet. So, I'll just be uh, describing the value of G's for each achievement. And once the trophy value for each achievement is revealed, I'll put them up in annotations. And secondly, the gameplay you are saying is just some Black Ops uh, zombies. Also, before I start, uh, let me just say that there are no secret trophies, so there may be spoilers. You have been warned. And let's get into it. So the first achievement we have here on the list is No Man Left Behind and what you have to do is rescue Woods and you get 20 G's. So you're probably going to be rescuing Woods from Black Ops 1 if you remember him and I'm pretty sure he's the old man in the Black Ops 2 trailer. Next achievement on the list is Gathering Storm. You have to investigate the jungle facility and I'm pretty sure that's a multiplayer map as well. You get 20 G's. Next is Shifting Sands. Gather intel on Raul, Raul Menendez from Mula Raman. 20 G's. Uh, driven by Rage. Take down Menendez and his operation. Those are probably going to be one of the main guys. One of the main bad guys at the beginning of the game. Uh, next is Waterlogged. Gather information on Raul Menen Menendez. Suspected terrorist plot. And you get 20 G's. So I think I already know who the main evil character may be. I don't know for sure. I'm just assuming it's Raul Menendez, but we'll see once the game comes out. All right. We are next. We are what happens in Colossus? Find the Karma weapon. It's probably going to be a really high tech weapon, seeing as Black Ops 2 is in the future. Find the Karma weapon. You get 20 G's. False prophet. Capture Manuel Noriega or Noriega or Norija, I don't know, and bring him to justice. 20 G's. Pretty sure most of these are bronze right now. He transferred all over to Trophy Valley. The next is Deep Cover. Capture Menendez. 20 G's. And then Sinking Star, you interrogate Menendez, which is another 20 G's. The last of these seem to be 20 G's. Okay, uh. Late for the prom. Escort the president to the secure location in downtown LA. So you want to save the president again. Escort the president to the secure location in downtown LA, which is 20 G's. Death from above. Stop Menendez once and for all. So that's probably going to be the last mission actually, because you get 50 G's. So we already know who the evil character is in the game, guys. It is Raul Menendez. I, yeah. Okay, and then you get old fashioned. Complete Perek victory. Old wounds. Time and fate. And suffer with me. And veteran. 50G. Uh, you get 50Gs. Uh, next is futurist. Complete all future levels. And veteran. 50G. Complete all future levels. What can that mean? I honestly don't know. Uh, giant accomplishment. Complete all challenges in Black Ops 2. You get 50 G's. Mission complete. Complete all challenges in a level. So now, maybe instead of uh, gathering intel, like in Modern Warfare games, you're gonna have to complete challenges now. You get 10 G's from. <clears throat> Next is just getting started. Complete one challenge in any level and you get 10 G's. Singapore Sling successfully neutralize the SDC freighter at Capel Terminum, which is 15 G's. Uh, Desert Storm successfully escort the VIPs to safety, 15 G's. And oh yeah, before I go on, let me just say that before I start this commentary, I counted about 50 trophies, so yeah, it's a pretty long list. What? Okay, so Desert Storm, escort, successfully escort the VFP to safety, 15G. Defender, successfully defend FOB Spectre from incursion, 15Gs. Black Ops 2 Master, 
And that is complete the campaign on hardened or veteran difficulty, 15G. I really hope uh, in the campaign this time they don't have areas where the enemy has infinite spawns. Because I remember in Black Ops I got stuck on this one mission. It was that mission with the rocket ship. Because in this one area the enemy just kept on spawning so I never moved up because I don't want to die. Because he died fast in veteran. But yeah, I hope that there's no infinite spawns anymore. Anyway, so Art of War. Successfully assassinate SDC uh, Charman Tian Zhao. You get 25G. Blind Date. Successfully rescue HVI. 15Gs. Family Reunion. There are two futures. 10G. Hmm. What can that mean? Because I heard that in the campaign you could have choices now. So the campaign won't be the same for everybody. The first time around probably. Uh, hey, good looking. Plastic surgery avoided. 10 Gs. Plastic surgery. <laughs> I don't even know about that. Uh, showdown. A duel between rivals. 15 G. Hmm. Probably fighting an evil guy. I don't know, honestly. Uh, dirty business. Listen and think before you shoot. 15 G. Hmm. Ship shape. Reinforcements on the way. 10 G. I honestly don't know what these achievements are about, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see until the game actually comes out, which is November something. I forgot. Uh, maybe the 13th? I'm not quite sure. I forgot about that. Uh, dead or alive. Jailer or executioner. 15G. Ultimate sacrifice. Only one can survive. Good karma. Uh, crack the slurry, the celerium worm, 20 G's. High IQ, collect all intel, 20 G. Back in time, use a future weapon in the past, 10 G. So can you time travel or something? Because it says use a future weapon in the past. And then you get 10 G's for that, I don't know. Man of the people, stop the brutality inflicted by the PDF, 15 G. Gun nut. Complete a level with customized loadout. You get 10 G's. So maybe now in the campaign, instead of getting assigned a gun, you could choose out your own loadout now. Which is kind of cool because then you have more time to somewhat bond with your character. Because then you could choose the guns that you want. 10k. Maximum score of 10k in every mission. 15 G's. So now you're going to get score in missions. You're going to complete challenges. The campaign is really stepping up its game this time. I think people are actually going to start playing the campaign in the Call of Duty games. Because I know most people that just skip right to the multiplayer. Uh, welcome to the club. Reach Sergeant, level 10 in multiplayer public match, 10G. So now we're on to the multiplayer trophies. Welcome to the penthouse. Prestige once in multiplayer public match, 50G. Big leagues, win 5 multiplayer league play games after being placed in a division 20g trained up win 10 multiplayer games while playing a combat training playlist 10g party animal win 10 multiplayer games while playing in party game playlists oh yeah in a couple days i will be having another black ops 2 info video for guys explaining the different game modes uh tower of babel in transit obey the voices 75g don't fire until you see. In transit, have all doors open without being set on fire. 30G. The lights of their eyes. In green run, pacify at least 10 zombies with 1 EMP. 5G. So I think uh, these are zombie trophies now. Yep. Undead man's party bus. In transit, complete all additions to the bus in one game. 15G. Dance on my grave. In green one, acquire your tombstone. 5G. Standard equipment may vary. In transit, acquire four different equipable items in one game. 25G. There's four more uh, achievements, guys. Almost done. <coughs> uh, you have no power over me. And then this is you have no power over me. You have 15G. Uh, I don't think they exist. In transit, kill one of the denizens of the forest while it is latched onto you. Hmm. Transit. Is that a 
Zombie map? Possibly. Uh, fuel efficient. In transit, use an, ato uh, an alternative mode of transport. You get 10 Gs. So maybe there's other ways to... Uh, other modes of transportation other than the bus? Possibly. I don't honestly know. Uh, last trophy here is Happy Hour. In transit, buy two different perks before turning on the power. So now instead of turning the power, like in other... Uh, like in the uh, Black Ops Zombies, you can already buy perks before turning on the power. I really, I'm really excited for Black Ops Zombies because they're really changing things up. But uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you take two seconds every time to just click the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe too because there will be more videos in the future. Till next time guys, peace. And did you see this ending of the Black Ops Zombies gameplay? The host ended the game when I had Pack Punch Ray Gun. Are you kidding me?